At first glance, this might just look like your ordinary sushi bar mock. I don't know, it's just a mock of a sushi restaurant and some people eating sushi as well as a cook in the middle of all of it. But easily the coolest part of this sushi belt mock is that when you actually twist the crank on the side, the entire belt moves around the room and sushi is transported from one person to the next. Getting the track and all of the gears to line up perfectly as well as placing sushi along the track took hours and hours of experimentation but it ended up being super super smooth and I'm very very happy with how this sushi belt looks. Essentially how it works is the track is connected to four different gears that are positioned at four different spots around the room and the only gear that's actually moving is a gear with the gold pin on it. That's the only one that's actually being controlled by the crank. And the bottom of the gold gear is connected to a set of gears that is controlled by the actual crank itself. That way when you spin the crank it spins the gold gear which spins the track which spins the sushi. It's pretty complicated. But I've never really seen any working Lego sushi belt mocks before so I figured I'm as well try and build one. It took quite a lot of experimenting as mentioned before but it ended up being really smooth and I'm just super happy with how the finished product looks. The entire restaurant is built on this black and brown base sort of as like a wooden looking base. Looks really cool and the crank sort of sticks out the side but it has some little detailing pieces there which look pretty nice. The sushi itself travels around this really nice looking brown and white counter which I think looks pretty cool as well as a little plant there in the corner and all of the seats were actually borrowed from the assembly square cafe which I think is pretty cool but I was able to recreate a lot of just fun little minifigure scenes like a dad taking his daughter out straight from karate class as well as somebody just selfieing her sushi and even a guy trying to learn chopsticks for the first time. I tried to make the kitchen area look as messy as possible with cans and bottles sort of spewed everywhere but we do also have a little sink in the corner as well as a pan and a little cabinet. I also borrowed some Japanese inspired crates from my brother's monkey kid set and that is a nice little addition on the edge of the sushi bar. I'm also a big fan of how the walls look just sort of as like a backdrop to the restaurant. I really like sort of the pieces that I borrowed from my brother there's a Ninjago set again, as well as some more pieces from a Monkey Kid set. Overall, I just think this little wall sort of as a background looks really cool. I did also make a point to tile all of the floors off between the kitchen and the actual sushi bar itself. So all the floors in this are tiled, and I just think that makes the whole mock just like look more professional. I don't know. Obviously, my favorite part is the fact that sushi can actually spin around to the different people. It's just so cool. You know, I've seen videos of these. I've never actually eaten at one of these places where, you know, sushi spins around, but I'd like to, guys. This just looks really cool, and I'm really glad I was able able to recreate our Lego here. But thank you guys for watching this video on my Lego sushi restaurant mock thing. It was a pretty weird mock, but I'm pretty happy with it. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments down below. The Super Production, sign for now. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like to stay up to date with my latest content here, and I will see you all later. Peace!